Yeah, there's definitely trepidation uh, about playing Curly, about playing any anyone as big as Curly. And as far as physical comedy, I don't know if there's anyone bigger. Um, and that's ongoing, you know. I'm constantly watching him and and constantly, you know, you're constantly trying new things. And, you know, here's a guy that, that as far as the shorts go, he was he was with the Stooges for, you know, over a decade. Um, and, uh, you know, before he made his, his exodus from the Stooges. It was, you know, 12 years of being with the Stooges. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to watch. That's a lot of stuff to take in. That's a lot of changes he made. Uh, there are a lot of things he did in 1934 that, that he wasn't doing in 1939 and he would do completely differently in 1945. So, um, so yeah, it, it's something you got to keep watching and, and something uh, that, that you really, you want to do right. You want, the, you want the fans of the Stooges to, to, you know, to enjoy it, to feel that you're doing it right, that you're paying it homage, that, you know, that, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all a part of this big, you know, love letter. What I love about Curly, I mean, among a lot of things, it, just his absolute, he's such a blind follower. He's just completely trusting of Mo and even Larry. But, you know, here's the, it's just, I mean, it speaks to these characters and, and what they are. They really, I mean, we've been having all sorts, you know, we've been coming up with all sorts of different analogies that they're chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. And, what what each character you know just they're, they're, they complement each other so perfectly and Mo is so at a ten and Curly is at a zero uh, with regard to if Curly's going to make a choice to lead you you know it because he's got to come in and do it and it's wrong you know but he'll try it out uh, just how how blindly he follows Mo and and just what makes me laugh and I think what makes everybody laugh when you're watching the Stooges is how time after time he just trusts Mo even when Mo's like setting him up only to smash him in the face like a lot of their jokes are just a, a setup so that Curly can get smashed in the mush as hard as his older brother Mo Howard could possibly hit him that's comedy these sorts of things that were that were comedy conventions back then, that they were trying out back then, that audiences loved then, you know, these pokes and boink and all this stuff. I can't think of, we were talking about it. I can't think of a time, <laughs> when was the last time you saw that? When was the last time you, you heard that? It's, it seems really goofy and campy, and yet it works. And this is because of their legacy. People still love the Stooges, obviously. They still have a massive fan base. There's no one quite like them in that respect.